Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the ARC. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Allison Reed. I am the house manager at the ARC, and we're in for a wonderful night of some of our most favorite music. Mick Gavin's Crossroads Kaylee is an annual tradition, um, usually during the winter holidays. Of course, this year, nothing has been quite normal. Um, so it was pushed off until this month. So welcome to February. Welcome to the Crossroads Kaylee. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, probably a lot of the audience tonight is familiar with the ARC and familiar with Mick and um, this, this show in particular. Uh, but if you aren't, we want you to know that we are a nonprofit organization. Um, we're a busy, busy venue. During a regular year, we do over 300 shows a year on our stage. Tonight's show is on our stage. There's still no audience. Um, but we are getting as close to normal as we can in this virtual streaming world. Um, tonight as well, you will find a virtual tip jar option. Um, and this is a way that we have at the ARC of supporting our performers um, during these pandemic times. And it's also a way that you can help support the ARC. Uh, donations coming into the tip jar tonight will be split between the performers and the ARC. Um, and that's what, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you again for joining us. Welcome to the ARC. Sit back, enjoy the show, and uh, Mick Gavin will tell us everything about everything they are playing, and he will introduce the other performers to you. So thank you, everybody. Mick Gavin, take it away, The Crossroads Kaylee.
Hello to the folks at home there, Dad. Uh, hello out there to everybody. Uh, it's great to be back here again in the Ark. I uh, want to thank everybody from the Ark for having us back. And uh, we're going to play for the next hour or so for you. I think next on the program is Mike. He's going to sing a song. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to do a song called uh, The Rambling Irishman. And uh, I think there's lots of versions of this song out there. I, I uh, from what I could tell, uh, just looking up some stuff on the internet, it seems like it was collected for it by Lynn Graham, but uh, all kinds of bands, uh, Did Annan did it, and uh, um, and it was somebody, Dick Gaughan, I forgot about that version of it. And uh, so anyway, uh, The Ramblin' Irishman. I am a rambling Irish man, and Ulster I was born, in. and many's the happy hour I spent on the banks of sweet Loch Erin. But when the I could not endure to the gathers of my station. To America I sailed away and left this Irish nation. Right, Canton, the na, Canton, the na, right, Canton, the nor, and the nandy. The night before I sailed away, I spent it with my darling. In the afternoon Till the break of day next morning But when that we were going to part We linked each other's arms And you may be sure and very sure It wounded both our charms Right hand and an I spent on board I dreamt about my Nancy I dreamt I held her in my arms And well she pleased my fancy But when I awoke from my sleep And I found my bosom empty Well you may be and very sure that I lay discontented Right hand and the na, tant and the na Right hand and the nor and the nandy When we arrived at the other shore We were both stout and healthy We pulled our anchor in a bay Jacket and white trousers, and let every lad link with the lad. Look at the coat and white flounces, right hand and na, hand and na, right hand and the nor and the nandy, right hand and na, hand and na, right hand and the nor. Andy.
Lovely. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to keep going now with uh, some reels for you, but maybe I should just introduce everybody for people who are listening at home who are asking themselves, what are these people, what are these strange instruments, and who are these people playing them? Uh, so I'm Sean Gavin. This is my father, Mick Gavin, and my brother, Michael Gavin. Our, our good friend, Ed O'Reilly, is joining us, and our very good friend, Rachel Pearson, on the bass, and singing for you later. So I think we're going to do some reels for you now. Um, what are these ones again? Oh, yeah. A couple of old uh, standards. Miss McLeod's, the Sligo Maid, and Craig's Pipes. And I think, actually, uh, we're going to get some dancing on this one from uh, Bowen Waltz, who's going to do some Irish step dancing for us. So I hope you enjoy that. We want to see you dancing at home as well. <laughs> Okay, Dad. You ready? Yeah. All right. Anyway, one For a song, or am I wrong? You don't. You're right. I'm right. <clears throat> so this show was supposed to happen in person with people filling the seats here at around Christmas time or sometime in um, in in December, and we were going to do this song, and we said, well, why don't we do it anyway? Because it's a lovely song, and it's called "Don Iha Ood in Mehel." to that night in Bethlehem, but uh, enjoy the melody anyway, and um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful piece that I, I ended up learning only last year. Um, 
it's one of them pieces that comes and just Val uh, uh, as you say in Ireland, Irish uh, it, it, it wooed me kind of the song <laughs> pipes now but it's nice to hear for uh, those of you who are unsure that was the irish language you were just hearing there oh yeah sorry that was all <laughs> in the irish language dun iha ud iha is the word for a night uh, and mehel is like uh, bethlehem in grammatically correct behel would be it but you put an m before a b anyway it's not a grammar uh, lesson but uh, <laughs> let's move along <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to play um, a couple of hornpipes. These are two that we've been playing together for a long time. The first one is um, the Stack of Barley, which is a great hornpipe that was recorded by Michael Coleman, the great Sligo fiddle player. And then uh, going to one after that called Johnny Will You Marry Me, which is um, the melody of a song, or some people call it Some Say the Devil is Dead. Maybe you know it better by that title. But anyway, I hope you like it. Go ahead, Dad, I'll follow you. Thank you. 
Tchaikovsky, is it? Oh, what's, what's next? I'm gonna play some Tchaikovsky for you, yeah. Uh, people, people here laughing in the studio. No, it's true. No, it is, it's true. Uh, not a word of a lie. I was in the Salvation Army and uh, I got a, a vinyl for a dollar and this tune came out, John of Dreams service. is on it. Yeah, it was there. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a song, uh, the melody of the song is uh, based on a, a, a part from a Tchaikovsky overture. Uh, so, well, no, it definitely is like, a, well, it's in there. Well, who knows if the, the author was thinking of that, but I mean, it's, it's definitely in there. It's the same uh, part. Then again, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of classical composers also, uh, you know, dig into like folk music for, uh, you know, some source material, get, get some ideas from it. So it's also possible that uh, it's also possible that it goes full circle like that, you know. Um, but in any case, it's it's called John of Dreams, and uh, yeah, it's about going to sleep. So it's a, uh, you know. Hopefully you don't go to sleep for the rest of the <laughs> show here, but it's kind of a nice relaxing tune anyway. When midnight sings and people homeward track Seek now your blanket and your vest Home comes the rover, his journey over. Yield up the night time to old John of Dream. Yield up the night time to old John of Dream. Across the hills, the sun has gone astray. Tomorrow's cares are many dreams away. The stars are flying, your candles dying. Yield up the darkness to old. John of dreams yield up the darkness to old John of dreams the man and the master in the night are one some things are equal when the day Sleep, the dreams come running clear. The hawks of morning cannot reach you here. Sleep as a river, flow on forever. And for your boatman, choose old John. And for your boatman, choose old John of Dreams. All right, thanks. Who fell asleep? Very good. Wake up. <laughs> I think we're going to carry on now with um, an O'Carolan piece, and I'll let my dad tell you about O'Carolan. But before that, I'll just quickly um, explain this instrument to you for those of you who might have not seen it before. These are the Illin pipes or Irish pipes. 
Ilan is the Irish word for elbow, and uh, there are um, seven pipes all together. There are the drones that are controlled by three single reeds that all play the same note. They sound like this. And then this is the chanter, which is a double reed, and that is where the melody comes from. And then there are these keys here that I push with my wrist or my hand called the regulators, and those are also each double reeds. So uh, it's seven reeds all together, and one of them goes wrong every one day of the week, usually. So today it was, it was a couple, but anyhow, uh, I'll be playing this tune on the pipes. And uh, it's an O'Carolan piece called Loftus Jones. Why don't you tell us a bit about that, Dad? You want me struck? No, tell us about O'Carolan and Loftus Jones. And Oh, uh, well, we really don't know who Loftus Jones was or is, but... Uh, but O'Carlan um, was born in 1673 uh, or something like that and uh, died in 1735. Uh, he composed a lot of uh, uh, great tunes. He travelled through Ireland and he travelled to Scotland and Wales playing in the big houses there and um, brought a big entourage of uh, people with him, horseback and so on. Separate horse for his, uh, for his harp. And uh, he was, he got smallpox as a child and he was blind. And Mrs. McDermott Rowe in Roscommon had him taught uh, the harp, as a harper. So we're going to play one of his tunes now. It's, uh, it's a lovely tune on the harp, but it's also very nice on the Billing pipes and uh, and and my fiddle and a uh, Mike's banjo. <laughs> so I hope we do it justice for here's to O'Carolan. I heard. Uh, and I hope. They, huh? I heard O'Carolan too was uh, very fond of the drink. Yes, the story goes that um, when he was in his deathbed, uh, somebody said to him. Uh, well, uh, would you like to have a drink? And he said, yeah, I'd love to one, have a drink. And so he ordered a glass of whiskey and just about as he was to put it to his lips to drink it, he, he fell back and he wasn't able to drink. And he said, it's a pity such great friends should part. <laughs> <laughs> I heard another one about, uh, even though he was a blind harper, he... Um, Apparently was a very dangerous man when he got liquor in him, and his his style of composing at the time was quite modern, even though it's you know the 17th century, so it's old to us. But um, compared to the ancient harp tradition, his his style of composition was very modern, and a lot of the old school harpers at the time were not very fond of O'Carolan, and so uh, there was a story that there was one other harper who yeah, okay got back to O'Carolan that he said something about his music that he wasn't fond of. And then the next time they were in the same tavern, even though O'Carolan was blind, he got some whiskey in him and apparently beat this man half to death. <laughs> so that's pretty bad when that blind guy beats you up like that, I guess. But I didn't know that. <laughs> he ended up in jail, supposedly, in Sligo somewhere. And uh, there's a tune that he composed that may have been um, in honor of the local sheriff. And supposedly that was why he was released. <laughs> because this sheriff enjoyed the tune so much. I love it. This is the old school bail. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, why don't we just play it? There's a bust of him in uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral in Dublin. Did you ever see it in there? In there is a I Dublin mean, man. I, in I, there, Riley? I must have. I've walked around St. Patrick's Cathedral, yeah. So I must have seen it. Walked around it, but you didn't go inside. No. It, <laughs> close enough. And inside. And inside. In and out. <laughs> huh? You couldn't get I did I was inside. I was inside. Say a prayer. Ben and I went in there and we took a picture of O'Callaghan actually, the the statue of him or I don't know how it was not bronze for sure, it's just uh probably bronze. Bronze. your mask is getting lost in your beard there. Well, uh I don't I'm not comfortable with it on playing. I never played it with a mask on before. So uh, it's my first time playing with the mask. 
So I hope, I hope it sounds okay. Anyways, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Pipes, the pipes are calling. So we want all the people, uh, want to thank all the people who have supported us over the years coming here to the Ark. It's a wonderful club. We're very honoured to be here playing and to be invited here. Uh, wonderful people at the Ark and uh, I think this is our 20... 25th or 26th year playing here at the Ark. We usually do it around the Christmas time. In fact, we had a Christmas concert planned, but due to the virus, um, it had to be put off. So um, we hope that you enjoy tonight anyway. So here we go with uh, an O'Callaghan tune. with O'Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Loftus Jones must have been a hell of a guy too about the sounds of it. So, uh, I think it's a song for me now. This one is called uh, 
a wounded bird and it was a a tune I kind of wrote on the fiddle, I think, first, and then got it onto the guitar. And then my wife, Anne Marie, who's in Plymouth watching, um, she wrote a poem. And then it jumped back into the tune again and uh, became this song called A Wounded Bird. So um, Rachel's going to join me harmonizing as well. So uh, looking forward to that. So hope you enjoy it. in Michigan. Oh, yeah. Great barns in Michigan, yeah. We played at a wedding in, uh, last year, wasn't it? Or was... Yeah. Yeah, in a well, barn. Upstairs two. in a barn oh, no, down south of, uh, uh, of Battle Creek there. It was a lovely event. You can have an event, or when you used to be able to have events in, in barns. <laughs> anyway. I'd say that's one of the few places you probably there's probably still events happening. <laughs>
then. Well, that was a couple of barn dances uh, on the melodeon that Sean bought me years ago, a few years ago for, uh, what, for my birthday or for Christmas or something. Yeah, it wasn't just me. But we, all, was, we all chipped in. Gonna, yeah, it cost yeah, a lot of money. It was my idea, but... But uh, it's, it's been... Uh, I'm a little stale on it, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, they were very common where I come from, very common in rural Ireland, really, years ago. They were cheap, come from Germany, and, uh, and uh, not everything come, that comes from Germany is very cheap, especially, uh, you know, the tools and stuff like that. Some of the tools are very expensive. But uh, they were cheap years ago, the honor, and uh, there must have been at least uh, 20 of them in my neighborhood within two or three miles in in the country they were for, you know for house dancing in those days uh, my father had two and uh, um, the neighbors next door neighbors had had accordions and fiddles were very common and uh, one of the few people in my neighborhood that carried on the tradition of playing the melodeon and the fiddle. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think we're about to have a song from Rachel now. Rachel. Uh, Rachel's going to do uh, a song called Maggie. And, uh, oh, Rachel. It's, normal, Rachel it's cla kind of a classic. This is Rachel Pearson over here. Thank you, Rachel, for coming. On the, on the left enjoy of that. me. Um, we usually have uh, as many, over the years we've had as many as 12, 14, 16 uh, people, dancers from the School of Dance, but due to the virus, of course, we we're, uh, can't have that many people. We're restricted. So, but what we have are wonderful. And uh, Rachel and Enda, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thanks for having Well, you were both here before last year. We were. It was an amazing event last year. Yeah. How many pipers did you get on stage? Oh, one's too many. <laughs> <laughs> Four or five at one point. Can we just launch into it? Yeah. yeah.
What are you guys going to do? You uh, we're oh, we're going to play, play some tunes now. Myself and uh, Mike. I think we're going to play some fiddle and flute tunes. And these are um, these are ones that were uh, played by a great flute player from the county Leitrim back in the 19 teens, 20s, and 30s. His name was John McKenna. He was kind of the guy who put the flute on the map in a lot of ways in Irish music. And um, these two tunes, the first two, actually all of them, are um, specifically tunes from County Leitrim, which is in the northwest province of Ireland called Connacht. So... First one's called the Traveler. Is that it? No, Captain. Some something or other. Uh, 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 c- 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 uh, Colonel Rogers. Colonel Rogers. Yeah. That's it. Colonel Rogers. I'm not sure who he was. Then we go to ha- uh, uh, Happy Days of Youth. The Happy Days of Youth. Long behind me. Lucky in love. I call it. And then Lucky in Love. Yep. No. Nope. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Go ahead, Mike. I'll follow you. Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. I thought it was only supposed to be special when families sing together, but no, it's like when they play tunes, it's like it's the same, t- it's it's like that same thing. It was amazing. Um, I had a quick look to see who was listening online there. We know you're out there. Uh, I saw someone, someone's on from Scotland, and uh, we had s- some people in California, um, and uh, I'm sure there's another 80 or 90 people out there I saw, but for, I'm not seeing all your comments for some reason, so... Hello to everybody, and uh, thanks for being with us. Um, and we want you to join in with this one. It might be, it might be Jack, Jack Abernethy, our friend Jack Abernethy might be over in Scotland. If, it, if, that's, uh, if that's you, hello. Or He's up late, maybe. Somebody else, then. Hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and actually, strangely, not strangely, because uh, loads of the songs that, uh, uh, that people in Ireland love are 
Scottish. And uh, this one is kind of a bit of both. Uh, this is uh, the Wild Mountain Time, if I'm correct. Yeah. And uh, so we want you all singing along. Uh, go, lassie, go. I'm sure you know it. Um, so join in, by the, especially by the end. We need everyone singing. If you were here, we'd have you all singing. Oh, the summer time, it's coming. And the trees are sweetly blooming. And the wild mountain time rolls around the blooming heather. Will you go, Lassie, go? And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain time all around the blooming heather. Will you go, Lassie, go? I will build my love a bower. Near yon pure crystal fountain And on it I will pile All the flowers of the mountain Will you go, bless you go And we long go together To pluck wild mountain time All around My true love, she were gone. Could I ever find another where the wild mountain time grows around that purple heather? Will you go, Lassie, go? And we'll all go together to pluck wild. All around the blooming heather Will you go, Lassie, go And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain time All around the blooming heather Will you go, Lassie, go Will you go, Lassie, go? Lovely. Lovely. We could hear you singing. We could, we could feel you singing at home all around the world there. <laughs> cool. All right, so we're getting uh, close to the end of the night. We're going to have some more dancing from Bowen Waltz. This one is um, a traditional set dance called St. Patrick's Day, which is just right around the corner. Um, well, I guess it's about a month and a bit away, but it's close enough. Hopefully the pubs will be open by then. <laughs> we didn't get to celebrate St. Patrick's Day last year. Uh, or was it? Uh, yeah, last year. And I don't know if we're going to get... Was, get to celebrate it this year either, uh, but uh, hope everybody is well uh, and keeping well and avoiding the terrible virus that's around the planet, around the world. So we're going to play uh, St. Patrick's Day for uh, sit dance for Bowen. That's right. St. Patrick's Day is technically the the end of the Irish Christmas season. Yeah, he's going to stand straight in, right? <laughs> Is it that long? <laughs> no, I just, it feels like it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You ready? Three, four.
Oh, yeah. So I think we have one more song for you to finish up. <clears throat> In Irish music, when we say song, we mean something that you will sing. Uh, and we call the melodies the tunes. But anyhow, this is our last song for the night, and it's one called The Frost Is All Over. Maybe Mike will tell you a bit more about it. But this one is a song, and it's also a tune. It's also, it's both, really, yeah. <laughs> Keep it confusing. It's yeah. a song. Yeah, this is a good tune. It's appropriate for this It's either a, yeah. a tune or a song. <laughs> yeah, we had a bunch of fr frost and snow recently, so uh, it makes sense that we would do, we'll do The Frost Is All Over. And I think it's on the way to Ireland as well. Oh. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those ones that uh, makes you wonder if the if the tune came first or the song came first. It's kind of um, the tune. The song. The words are not all that. Uh, not real deep or anything. I don't think. And it's just kind of like, what would you do if the what would you do if the kettle boiled over? What would I do? Only said it again. And then various other things like that. What would you do if your car broke down? Well, what would I do? Only get it fixed. Like. You're the philosopher. I think that's pretty deep, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making fun of it. I, just, it's... Well, let's I get, like the song. Let's get the process all over and done with. This is what we do when we're tuning. We're philosophizing. into it. What's the first? Sure. Give this one. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Over, what would I do when they fell it again? What would you do with the tilted clover? What would I do when they set it again? Close to the wall, you to be drunk and me to be sober. Get the lie over close to the wall. And what would you do if you married a soldier? What would it do when they follow the gun? And what would you do if he died on the ocean? What would I do when they marry again?
Well, we want to thank the Ark again. Thank you, Joe, for doing the sound and for the camera. People, the uh, videographer, we want to thank you so much for coming along tonight and doing this. I hope everybody out there enjoyed it. Um, it is different playing without the audience, but uh, we hope all the lovely people out there who uh, we sometimes not sometimes, but most times, have a packed house here for the last 25 years for two nights in a row. And uh, it's quite different. Um, the crowd is smaller, and um, but we are really enjoying it. And we hope that you enjoy it. And um, don't forget to drop something in the, in the, in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. It will help. <laughs> A lot of people out of So work. what's that? There's a tip jar. Literally, they can people can uh, put a tip in. So don't be shy. Uh, and also, you can become a member of the Ark if you live if you live in the area or if you live anywhere. I'm sure you could find it on their website there uh, to become a member. Uh, my next door neighbor is a member. I didn't realize that. So there you go. Yeah, so, it's uh, a great organization and uh, non-profit folk music venue is. Um, type of thing that we need more of in the world, in my opinion, so I definitely second that. Become a member of the ARC if you like you know, music. You know, it's, a, it's a, I'm just adding up, uh, it's 26 years, actually, not 25. Uh, it just came to me right now, this minute. Uh, I was making up the years, remember that? And uh, it's 26 years, and Mike and I uh, done the opening here with a lot of other, uh, well, very famous musicians. Another. But uh, but uh, we had a great time, and uh, I worked here in the <coughs> refurbishing of this uh, this concert hall, and it was uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And we have had some wonderful musicians come here over the year. We had um, Liz Carl from Chicago. Of course, Liz has performed here many times, but she came here and done a workshop for us and a concert. So did Seamus Connolly from Boston College, and uh, two nights and done a workshop teaching. And Brian Conway from New York, and James Kelly from Dublin, and uh, Tommy Peoples from Donegal, who Tommy done a, in a workshop in, actually in Detroit at the Irish Club. And we had Ashley Beck Isaac from Cape Breton Island. So I hope you're listening out there, Ashley. And of course, last but not least, another Cape Britner, Barbara McDonald McGone, who's who's from Detroit, great piano player. Thanks, Barbara, for coming here for all those years and helping us uh, create a great musical uh, night, many, many musical nights. Barbara, uh, known as uh, Barbara Johnny Archie, great piano player, McDonald. She is uh, with the daughter of uh, Archie McDonald, a Detroit policeman, and uh, who played the fiddle. At one time in Detroit, back in the 50s, there were five uh, fiddle players from Cape Britain living in Detroit, uh, and they all played the fiddle, all McDonald's. I knew the last one, uh, Alan McDonald, died about oh, 25 years ago, 30 years ago. A very, very nice man, but I heard lots of stories, great parties um, from the Cape Britners. So we're going to finish up with uh, some reels, is it? Yeah. And we're going to have Bone. Bone is going to dance the last reel, I, I think. That's it. Yeah. Right, Bone? Yeah. Thanks, Bone. Sure, thanks. thanks for coming here, and uh, thanks to Rachel, and uh, Mike, Sean, and... Uh, and thank you as well. You guys, uh, <laughs> well, Mike was here the first night. That's right. Hmm? You, were, you were very young at the time. Sure, yeah. The night uh, opening. I was here, too. Oh, yeah. No. I didn't play, but I was here. The opening night? Yeah, with the Tommy and Jimmy and uh, no, Stephen. No, 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 no. Michael and I was here. <laughs> He's talking about before that. Oh, was that the year before that? Yeah, the year before A couple that. couple years before that. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. So thanks everybody. Hope you enjoy it. Yep. Enjoy the playing for you. <laughs> Ready? Uh. 
Okay, three, four. <laughs> the videographer and hopefully we'll be back next year live a live audience yeah. thank you <laughs> uh, <everyone. laughs>